I'm Anna Costello. I'm a uh, senior at the University of Maryland, and um, I play French horn in GSO. I'm the section leader. Um, I've been with GSO since uh, my the first semester of my freshman year, so I've been involved throughout my whole college career. Um, my sophomore year, I was a uh, co-conductress with Kira, but um, I've since uh, came back to um, the orchestra as French horn section leader because it just got too busy. I first heard about GSO um, during my freshman orientation the summer before I came to college. What happened was uh, they had, at one point, we were in stamp and they had um, all like posters of various different groups and I was just walking around and this uh, Gamer V Orchestra caught my eye and I'm just like, wow, there's something like this that actually exists. Can I join, please? And they're like, you play French horn? Yes, we need French horn. So, yeah. It was awesome. I mean, I was just so excited to be playing like this video game music. One of the first pieces I played was uh, the Chrono Trigger cross medley, and I was just like so excited because I love Chrono Trigger. It was just awesome to finally like be able to like play this music because like I, I I really love video game music and I love RPGs and I'm just like, yay! <laughs> It's just like so refreshing to be with like other geeks like through like video games or like through music and stuff and just being able to like be comfortable and express myself that way because like we all at least like have a, a love of this music and it's, it, it, it's just very relaxing and refreshing. In all other ensembles I've been in, they haven't like really stressed as much the social experience. It's more been like the playing experience. GSO really tries to stress that with like giving like with like the GSO dinners after every rehearsal. Also the environment is generally more relaxed. Like yes, we're trying to learn this music, but like throughout the rehearsal, you know, people are making jokes. Definitely. I mean, that's one of the things that really separates us from like other orchestras. I really emphasize the fact that like, yes, even though we are here to like play music and sound good, we want people to have a good time as well. If we love playing video games and stuff and having fun that way, we should also have fun with each other. Yeah, it was quite a different experience for me. Like I've never like conduct I had never like conducted anything before I did that. It was suggested to me that like maybe I should try just because like I do have a music minor. So give it a try and I'm just like, well you know, I might as well give this a try. You know, this is college, new experiences. And I haven't really had too many like leadership positions like that, so that was kind of a good like experience. Um I guess I just kind of like really push myself to like be able to like really like try to listen to the music, figure out like what needed to be worked on, figure out like how to like work on it, um, and just like try to manage my time so I could um, be beneficial to the orchestra. At the end of the semester I kind of realized that like I was going to be too busy for it. Even though like I love GSO, like um, I do need to keep in mind my major and such and I realized that I needed to focus more on that. So. really exciting like this is just such an amazing opportunity for us because like generally we only get people in like in like uh, University of Maryland or around col the College Park area and now we're just like seriously like expanding our venue to like all these people in like DC it's just really exciting because more people are gonna like know about us I think it's like a huge step for GSO that we're playing at the Smithsonian I think GSO is going to get like some more like serious recognition after this. I mean, especially with CBS like coming, continuing to like get better and better. I was once like discussing somebody who was like, okay, this semester, um, uh, the Smithsonian, next year, the world or something. Like, I don't know, he's talking about Kennedy Center or like other things. I mean, I don't know how possible that is, but I think it'd be really awesome if we could like play at bigger venues. Okay. 
I really hope that like no matter what happens we'll still like keep like the fun social environment we're getting like more of this recognition and like and if we do like expand to like bigger venues like yeah we're gonna have to be a little more serious about the music but we shouldn't change ourselves completely for the benefit of the music because like the social aspect is still really important So it's just been an amazing experience and I'm really glad that I've been able to have this awesome opportunity to like perform with them and like be a part of it.